yet another amazing recipe. I am so excited. Yet another day. Because today at the Young's house, Jeannie Young is going to share with you all how easy it is to make delicious homemade broccoli and cheese soup. This recipe is easy. Doesn't require a lot of ingredients. And if you make it Jeannie Young style, it's going to be so tasty. Y'all never had my broccoli and cheese soup. Better make you some. Here are the lovely ingredients you will need. You will need fresh broccoli. I don't suggest using frozen, okay? Get you some fresh broccoli. So that's what I have here. And I have five crowns. Some of you may call it a head of broccoli. So we have five of these. We have, this is the kind of cheese that I highly suggest that you use. It doesn't have to be Kraft Singles, but I do suggest you use a yellow American cheese. In this bowl in front of me here, I have some fresh leeks that I have cut up and I've rinsed them off very well because they have a lot of sand in them and they're sitting in ice water. If we make our way this way, I have some heavy whipping cream and we also may use a little bit of milk, maybe, all depending on how I'm feeling. You're gonna need some butter. We have some sour cream, croutons for garnish, a couple of spices so we can make this thing taste good. We have salt, garlic and onion powder, black pepper, and if you like a little bit of spice, we got red pepper flakes, vegetable broth, and you're gonna need some type of bread as a dipping device. Make sure your hands are impeccably clean. Let's get started with this fun recipe, Gina Young style. I couldn't be more excited to share with you all how easy it is to make a nice, delicious, hearty soup. You, you have to admit, the world loves broccoli. The world loves cheese. Turn it into a soup and you're gonna be happy. Your whole family, even the kids that don't, that claim that they don't like vegetables. So now I got two tablespoons of butter. I'm gonna put it into my pan just like so. And what I wanna do is I wanna put the leeks right here into, you rarely see a lot of people cooking with leeks. Leeks is gonna really brighten up this recipe. Um, some people like to say that leeks taste a little bit like onions. Me personally, I don't think so. I think they have like their own flavor. So we're gonna saute them up. We wanna get them nice and soft, get some of that butter flavor going through them. And once they get nice and sauteed, we're gonna go in and salt and pepper the leeks. But what I wanna show you right now is we can go ahead and begin to take the, uh, the florets off of the stems, okay? Now, when you're making a broccoli soup, I suggest that you take off as much of the stem as possible. Now, you might be that person that says, I wanna keep the stem. If you wanna keep the stem, go ahead. But for this recipe, not so much. You're gonna need it just like that. These are pieces that we're looking for for a broccoli soup, okay? So, this right here, you can save it. You can put it into um, a freezer bag and use it next time you go to make a stew or something like that, or you can just discard of it. All right, so we're gonna chop this down just like so in this manner. I hope y'all are having a great day today. Somebody in the comment section, let me know. Do you love, or have you ever made it, homemade broccoli and cheese soup? If you haven't, you're in for a treat because this is so delicious. Can't wait to hear the comments. So if you take a look down in the pan, you will see that the leeks are nice and sauteed up. That's what I'm looking for. They have a little bit of golden brown on them. The butter is hot, the buttery, yes, the butter is hot and bubbly. We're gonna salt it, okay? We're gonna put some pepper on, just like so. And now we're gonna put our beautiful broccoli in. Depending on how many people you decide that you're cooking for, or how much soup you like, that's gonna depend on how many heads of uh, broccoli you need. And I may need to even transfer um, this into a different pan if I feel like I need more room. But also keep in mind that when broccoli cooks, it, it will cook down a little bit. So what do we do next? Well, we're gonna take some vegetable broth. And if you don't have vegetable broth, you can use chicken broth if you don't mind. Okay, so let's put some vegetable broth in here. Just enough to steam it, okay? So let's just say, um, if this is our pan, let's put in about this much. 
We're going to cover this with foil. We're going to let the broccoli cook until it gets nice and steamed. And when I come back, I'm going to show you the consistency that I'm looking for before we move on with the recipe. So right here I have some breadsticks and I put a little tiny bit of salt, a little bit of garlic powder, make them taste a little bit better, right? They already have a ton of butter on them. I'm gonna cook them. I'm not gonna cook them until they're too dark. I don't want them crispy. I want them nice and soft and hot. A little bit of parsley flakes just to make them nice and purdy. We're gonna throw these into the oven, 350 degrees until they're done. Now let's talk about something really quickly. If you didn't want to use breadsticks, that's fine. You can get like a French baguette and slice that down. You can toast it with a little bit of olive oil and maybe some garlic or you could use an Italian loaf and just break it off. But you're gonna need something as a dipper to dip that soup up, okay? You wanna sop that cheesy soup up with some type of bread. So I just wanted to throw some ideas out there. So we're gonna get this into the oven and when I come back, we'll check in on our broccoli. So now I checked in on the broccoli and you can clearly see, you know, it's not ready. It will turn a darker color. But now some of my chicken broth or I'm sorry, my vegetable broth has um, evaporated. So what I did, I used the whole 32 ounce of vegetable broth. Okay, we're gonna cover it up once again with foil until it's nice and soft. And when I come back, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to make this cheese sauce. And keep in mind, we may even use a little bit of milk, even though we're using the heavy whipping cream. So my broccoli is done. If you take a look in the pan, I want you to see the color differential uh, versus when I showed you the broccoli a few minutes ago. So what we have down in here, we have that gorgeous broth that we put in there, a whole 32 ounce. And then the leeks, we put the leeks in there with the butter, some salt and pepper, and those leeks, believe it or not, it was a little bit, but it's really gonna permeate all through the soup and make an amazing flavor. So now, we're gonna use our yellow American cheese, you can just go to your local deli and have them slice you some American cheese, okay? Or you can use the craft like I like to use. And we wanna put this right on top. Once it begins to melt, then we can stir it in. There's really no purpose in stirring it right now because it's just gonna turn into one clump. So turn your heat up like on a medium heat. Stay near it. You can even cover it with a little bit of foil once you see the cheese is beginning to melt. We're gonna stir it up, and then we're gonna introduce our heavy whipping cream and some milk and some spices. So remember I said we'll wait for the cheese to begin to melt. It's happened. Now we can go in and stir it without everything turning into one big clump. So look at that. Right now what you have is an amazing cheese sauce, and look how easy this was to put together. And so now, I want you all to think about your spices. The spices are gonna be garlic and onion powder, and I don't want you to be afraid to season. That's garlic and onion powder. A little bit of salt. If your loved ones want more, let them put their own on, you know, when they get their plate. A little bit of black pepper, not too much. If your family likes a little bit of heat in the back of the palate, a little bit of red pepper flakes, but you can definitely leave the red pepper flakes out. This is a dried parsley flake. Okay, and now we're gonna go right in with that heavy whipping cream. It's gonna make it so rich, make it feel like the holidays, you know? This right here is a really, really special soup. And this soup is, abs listen, I, I can't do nothing but brag about this soup because number one, it's cost effective. Number two, easy to make. And number three, the taste is out of sight. So what do we do next? Well, we're gonna let it simmer. And, and literally, just for maybe 10 to 12 minutes, just let it simmer, and when we come back, we're gonna taste it. And what we're looking for when we taste it is we're looking to see if it needs more seasonings. If it doesn't need more seasonings, then you're good. I do wanna put one tablespoon, just one tablespoon of butter in to round off the sauce, okay? So just a tablespoon. Get that in there, nice and melty, just like so. Now, some of you right now, you're asking, okay, Gina, but you got sour cream and you didn't put any in. Well, the sour cream is gonna be used as a garnish. You can dollop the sour cream on top, and then uh, once you have your sour cream on top, 
put some parsley flakes for a little bit of color and a few croutons just to make it nice and beautiful. But you'll see when I plate it up. And listen here, Heidi, I hope you enjoyed this recipe today. Let me know in the comment section below. Take a look. Our broccoli and cheese soup is done. And honestly, I didn't need the milk. If you wanna feed more people, go ahead and put more milk in. This is the perfect consistency. This should never be, <coughs> excuse me, this should never be thick, but this is the consistency that you're looking for. And taste it. I tasted it and it has the perfect taste. <coughs> Listen here, everybody. Hold on a second, I gotta I got cough. Sorry about that. If you all enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Tell your family and friends and everyone you know, hey, tell the whole world about Gina Young, what I'm doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. Let's say a really quick prayer, and when I come back, you get the first bite. Heavenly Father, we'd like to thank you for today and every day. We thank you for this beautiful meal in Jesus Christ's name. No weapons formed against us shall prosper. And we bind the devil away from us in Jesus Christ's name. Devil, you stand no chance. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the roof over our head, the food, the love, the peace and the joy you bring us every day. Amen. Take a look at it, everybody. Jeannie Young style, homemade, cheesy broccoli soup. Make it so. Amen, once again to my beautiful prayer. I know, I know you want the first bite, I'm about to give it to you. Here's the thing, I'm trying to decide, do I want the breadstick or do I want, we'll taste it both ways, that's what we're gonna do. And look at the pretty garnish. You know, I, I, I just, I believe in making things look pretty. A little bit of sour cream and croutons never hurt nobody. Look at that. Take a bite. Let me know what you think. I'm going in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so good. And now, now for the cheese sauce. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Make it so. Good night. Mm.